It's me, Rab. I need a wee word with you. Can I come in? Just you in here, eh, laddie? I was hoping to speak to your pals, too. Could you ask them to join us? It's Jade, the lassie I was fighting with in the tournament. She's missing. I've looked all over town, but she's nowhere to be found. I can't help but worry she's got herself caught up in something. Will you help an old man look for his wee friend? Oh, don't be like that now, laddie. Come on, you'll help me find her, won't you? Oh, don't be like that now, laddie. Come on, you'll help me find her, won't you? You're a star. With yourself and your pals here to help, I'm sure we'll find her in no time. Right. The last place anyone saw her was over by the orphanage. Let's start there, shall we? Brought you a fresh one! So this is who's behind it all. Sir Hendrik must have missed one when he cleared the monsters out of town all those years ago. <sighs> Nicely done, lassie. I hope you'll forgive me, but we had a wee rummage around in your room, Vince. The liquid I found. Uh, that's what you drink before your fights, isn't it? What your friend here squeezes from the fighters you kidnap. That... that was you? <laughs> Perhaps not all humans are as stupid as our muscle-bound friend here. That's right, old man. Hendrix scarred me, but he did not Kill me. The extract. It was the only way to regain my strength. So I had Vince bring me the choicest morsels. And why would he help me do such a thing, you ask? Because I offered to share the fruits of my labor. To give him strength beyond imagining. Who could refuse such a juicy offer? Hmm? <laughs> I couldn't keep on winning forever. And if I wasn't winning, I wasn't bringing in the money we needed for the orphanage. Sorry, partner, but I can't let those kids down. Which means, I can't let you and your friends leave. Come on, 
Not now! <sighs> oh, will you look at yourself, laddie? Do you not see what that stuff's doing to you? That foul fluid wasn't meant for human consumption. It's eating you from the inside out. It's a miracle you're still alive. Uh, uh, man. Uh, I guess cedars never prosper, huh? <laughs> Spent at last, old friend. Such a shame. Then I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Keep that thing busy. I'll see if I can get those people down. You won't escape alive! Stay focused!
for help. The great Silvanda grows even greater. And don't come back. I... I had no choice. 
A third-rate fighter like me? I was never going to make enough dough to keep the place open. So when I heard that voice, drifting up from down here, right beneath the orphanage, I... I listened. All I had to do was help him out, and he'd make me the toughest fighter around. Seemed like a pretty sweet deal. So I said sure. I wanted to win the tournament so bad, needed that money so bad, I let him use me. I knew it was wrong. But that orphanage, man, that's where I was raised. Those kids are my family. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> so you let your desire to help the Bairns get the better of you. Well, there's certainly been greater evils done for less good. Tell you what, I'll have a word or two with the mayor. Don't worry, lad. We'll make sure the orphanage is looked after. So chin up, eh? Just don't let me catch you making deals with nasty beasts again. You hear? Sir, I... I don't know what to say. Wakey, wakey, little soldier. Come on now, time to get up. I said wake up! Morning, darling! Hate to drag you out of bed, but we need to head up to the arena. That prize they never got around to giving you? Well, they want to hand it over. Let's get moving, before they change their mind. <laughs> If you're looking for me, I'll be in the cheap seats. Don't forget to give me a wave. All right, everybody, it's time to bring this year's Masked Martial Arts Tournament to a close. It's prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our champions, the Invincibles! And now, to present the prize. Hold up, hold up. Seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of Octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy. Why don't we make this interesting? I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! The gauntlet has been thrown down! Now that's the stuff champions are made of! No backing out now, unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fooled ya. I don't do that stuff no more. I fight clean or not at all. Now let's do this! <clears throat> let's do this thing! Oh yeah! It's all over! 
over! The champ is down! We have a winner! Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. What's gotten into him? Uh, I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. Thanks. You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. We love you, Vince! Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! You're a true champ, man! It gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the Rainbow is... This is bad. This is real bad. Huh? It's the Rainbow. It's gone. And all there was instead was this. And this letter too. Looks like it's for you. Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me. What a shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other than Old Man Rab! Will our hero journey to Dundrazil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all end? I, for one, can't wait to find out! Dundrazil, huh? So it's back to where it all began. <sighs> Man. So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities, and that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor, too. The poor thing was only visiting. But I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents, after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Oh, look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us! <laughs> so you made it at last. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <sighs> Wait. 
How could you? I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. This place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came. And I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Is this... somebody's grave? Aye. This is where the King and Queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... Hmm. I do. This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He... changed. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Ah... Oh, he's not a man I knew any longer. Folks say he blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth! Eleanor, my girl. Erwin, I found it. I found your boy. He wasn't no lost to us after all. <laughs> the 
that are alive, laddie. Against all the odds and... And now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. Now, will you humour an old man a while longer? There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Drasilian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you Princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong, to Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. Didn't he die in vain, Eleanor? He saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh. 
If only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. Sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while. Lady Eleanor. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there. <sighs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. the ones from the altar. No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Darkspawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. What shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Dark Spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. 
suggest you try it. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Endrick! Sir Endrick! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Darkspawn, there is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Men, the Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! <laughs> this is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic! You will evade me no longer, Darkspawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not. You go again. Oh good, you're awake. <laughs> I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... If it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. That she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me, 
and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the Darkspawn. Sir Hendrik? Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But... Should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go! You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Impressive, Princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Darkspawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you! Patrick! Princess! I'm sorry. Get on! Now hold on tight.
princess, what have you become? There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. Wouldn't it be the first time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know? Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named... Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're going to have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Well, can you see anything? a dud. If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him. He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother, I promise. The branch, it's... Darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. 
I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform, and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway round the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. I can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Hmm. Hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. <laughs> 